What's happening? Brian Tong here for your weekly dose of everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. The iPhone 7 hasn't even been released, and we're already hearing rumors for a Digit Times report that says Apple is building an iPhone beyond its current 5.5 inch screen and is moving to a 5.8 inch screen with an OLED display that could launch in 2017 or 18. Now, Samsung and LG would be supplying the displays for this new device. Rumor reports have already stated the 2017-18 timeframe is when Apple is finally expected to go to an OLED display, and it's about time. Even Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg touted how Samsung's OLED screens were the only ones the Gear VR supports because LCD screens like the iPhones aren't up to standard for VR content. Now, again, you might be rolling your eyes about this 5.8-inch screen, thinking that's too much, Apple, but patents from 2011 show how Apple's been thinking, and it could make sense if it was part of their wraparound designs with flexible OLED displays. They also have another patent for virtual buttons, switches, or informational displays that can run on the edges of the phone. It includes a touch-sensitive layer and would allow you to do things like adjust your volume or take pictures without any physical buttons. And Apple's March 21st event has been officially confirmed with Apple's invitation that says, let us loop you in where we expect to see the 9.7-inch iPad Pro, the iPhone SE, and all new Apple Watch wristbands that we've been talking about on this show. But let's talk about the actual iPhone 7 that we are expecting to come out this year. Probably a good idea. Now, images of a purported iPhone 7 case from Steve Hemmerstoffer, which you can choose to believe or not, feature a design that has no headphone jack, a single lightning port, and stereo speakers at the bottom of the case. And don't worry, you can be sure Apple will make that lightning headphone jack adapter somewhere, you know, in the affordable ballpark of $50. Now, these images showcase rumored features of the next iPhone with a body that is similar enough to the iPhone 6s, and even early case leaks have been pretty accurate in the past, so as usual, we'll just wait and see. We also told you how Zuckerberg threw some shade Apple's way recently, but he's not the only one. During an interview with Shaq News, Oculus VR founder Palmer Lucky was asked if the company plans to support the Mac for the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. His response? It's up to Apple, and the company needs to prioritize higher-end GPUs. If Apple builds a machine that can handle the hardware, Oculus VR would love to support the Mac. That's real talk, but oh, that's what I call an ouchie. And it's not a coincidence that all of a sudden, Apple is looking at OLED screens with their newfound interest in virtual reality. Also this past weekend, the first instance of ransomware for the Mac was found in a malicious update to the BitTorrent client Transmission. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts a user's hard drive and files and then demands money to decrypt it. It's nasty. And this version of Transmission was downloaded over 6,500 times. The good thing, Transmission has since released an update to remove the malware from computers affected. Also, Apple's iOS 9.3 betas have shown off their night shift feature that changes the color temperature of the screen from the normal cooler blues to warmer tones in an effort to help people sleep better at night. A new app called FlexBrite on the App Store did just that. It was approved by Apple a few days ago until Apple realized, hey, we're doing this feature in our upcoming iOS 9.3, which we also stole from another app called Flux, by the way. So now we're pulling FlexBrite from the App Store. No explanation has been given for its removal, and you all know what that is. That's a bad apple. Ah! See, and just when you thought we'd get through a show without throwing one out. All right, let's announce our winners for the full copy of Mortal Kombat XL from last week's show, my favorite fighting game franchise of all time. I asked you your favorite characters and why. So congrats go out to Daniel is so cool, whose favorite is Scorpion because he is fire, like my hairstyle. Damn, Daniel, you a winner. And Mr. Jer, who likes Tremor because he rocks. Plus, Ant the Gamer and DC Fox went the extra mile with my Mortal Kombat homemade costume tutorial I put up on Periscope. Follow me because, you know, it'll be worth it. So congrats to all of you. All right, that's going to do for this week's show. You can always email me at theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.